I think we all have now a bit this idea that, you know, metastatic common sensitive prostate cancer um, is dividing more and more in subgroups. For the time being, we have clinical factors that help us to, to make these subgroups, like um, especially de novo disease. So a patient who is diagnosed with metastasis versus relapsed disease. So metachronous disease, where a patient had already a radical treatment for the primary tumor, but then relapses with metastasis afterwards. And that can be obviously six months after the operation or the radio therapy, but also maybe six years. And that, that's also probably a difference biologically. And then there is the also this differentiation between low volume and high volume disease. And that's something that is a lot discussed um, because the definition obviously is a bit arbitrary, but um, for the moment it's for more metastasis in the bones, but also um, if you have visceral metastasis, so mostly liver or, or lung metastasis. And that's just already, this one is interesting, right? Because we know that patients with lung metastasis have a better prognosis than patients with liver metastasis in general. So, so this is a, let's say, a very arbitrary kind of, of definition for low volume and high volume. But in the moment, we, we quite like work with these four groups, like de novo, high volume, who has the worst prognosis, if you, you know that from just giving ADT. Um, and then the best prognosis in the patients who have this, the relaxed disease and low volume. Also a bit kind of intuitive, but, but I guess, um, so now we all doing a bit these differences um, in our clinics and to decide on, on the treatment. But obviously it would be much nicer if you would have biological uh, molecular factors helping us in, in these decisions. But why now this is a bit what, what we're having and what we are working with. 